Hello spirituals. Now before I begin this video, I would like to uh let you spirituals know that this that this yes, this is in fact a gaming video, but I want to tell you that this actually these types of games relate to a very dark yet serious matter which involves darkness, depression, suicide. So if you spirituals actually know someone who is in that state condition of depression or thinking about committing suicide, um, please try and help them. Make sure they get the help they need. Make sure they seek help to like help deal with their depression and uh, well suicides. And the reasons why is because these two I found two games that relate to the topic, which you're actually about to witness. So I know this is not very much of an in, like a perky, happy introduction, but this is kind of like a serious matter. So this is kind of the intro you'll get. So anyways, spirituals, these two gamings are very serious. So anyway, spirituals, let's just begin this video, shall we? So I'll see you very soon. Okay, so today's first video is called The Static That Speaks My Name. So um, when I first opened up the game, it just only showed me to the controls and uh, what to do, but it doesn't show me on to the title and stuff. So basically, I know to look around with a mouse, either interact with stuff, oh, right click to zoom. I might forget about zooming because I'll mostly be focused on the mouse, the WASD keys and the E. So yeah, this game doesn't uh, really come up with an opening title, but the name of the game is called The Static That Speaks My Name, and I'm curious to know why it's named that. So I guess let's just begin. Oh, uh, what is this? I look like I'm in outer space. Oh, the stars are pretty. Or like some type of void, I don't know, but I guess we gotta walk over to this blob thing over here. Uh, Jacob M something 31 asphyxiation and by hanging. Oh, that's a serious method, so. Oh, there we go, we got the title of the game. <laughs> okay. Um, today will be a better day. Well, that's, I like the poster. 3.22 a.m. Why getting up at 3? I thought you would get up at like 5 or something. Uh, okay, so I have to use the bathroom. So where's the bathroom? I got a like, nice little fish uh, area. Ooh, open door. Oh, well, what do you know? I found the bathroom. So I have to like look around until I see text. I'm just also spamming the ink just in case I can't really turn on the lights. So, what else am I really supposed to do? Take a shower? Or, wait, what? Oh, use the toilet. Um, okay, let's use the toilet, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a little weird, <laughs> just, <laughs> but, okay. Oh, wow, you don't flush, you don't use any toilet paper, and your pee is, like, clear. Um, okay. Well, we use the toilet, let's... Okay, so now I'll eat breakfast at like 3 in the morning. Uh, you're not gonna wash your hands? Okay, you're gross. Uh, let's see... I guess we have to go to the kitchen. What is this? Not yet. What do you mean by not yet? Now I'm curious to know what's behind that door over there. But let's go out through here. Um... They got nice paintings. It's literally the same thing. This guy loves the palm trees and oh, oh, okay, I have so many TVs. Ooh, what, wait, what? Take keys? Take keys to where? I can't leave my own house because I boarded it up apparently. So, oh yeah, I think I might know why the static speaks my name because I listen very closely and stare endlessly at the statics of the TV. I can feel like my soul is escaping my body. Let's look in here. Oh! Oh! Okay! Palm tree art room! I mean, I could substitute it as a guest room if I had other people, but... 
literally the same thing. Oh my goodness, wait, this doesn't look- Oh, it's like a little blurb of the character's name. Okay, what's with this guy and so obsessed with the palm trees and stuff? Like, I don't know why. Ooh, what's this? Uh, shadows something- Oh, shadows don't naturally divert with a single light source and possible optical magnetic disturbance. Oh, I see like an Illuminati thing. Oh, what's this? To do for hidden door to safe room. Have lock on the door fitted so I can use my house key. Glue down light and upright books. It's annoying when they fall. Make books look casual on the shelf so people aren't suspicious. Page two. This is too formal. This is good amount of casual. This is so casual it looks fake. What? Hidden door? Safe room? What? Oh, the Bahamas. But where? The Bahamas are huge. I would love to actually go to the Bahamas uh, one day. That would be really cool to go to. So, what? Oh, I guess this is like my eating area. Oh, I found the I found the kitchen and a computer. So it's like somewhat of an office slash uh, the kitchen. So I'm just gonna look around and till I see like some blurbs before I can interact with stuff and oh open refrigerator. Oh okay. What? Nothing. Still empty. I guess it's shrimp again. Wait, what? Are you saying that I wait, the uh, the prawns or the shrimp in the, my bedroom, I have to eat that? Oh what's this? The chatworthtimes.com. Police have few leads and disappearance of local painter. Uh Tim Allen Company specialist the light safe fans. Wait. Jason Wait, isn't our name Jason? Is this like a newspaper of the future? Okay. I, 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 like it has to be. I don't know why we have it. Okay. Oh, uh, so I found the laundry. Nothing really much use of here. Oh, the grocery list. Light bulbs. I have forgotten three times, so okay, yeah, but it's just basic stuff about light bulbs and food. So why shouldn't we just get food? Like actual food. But I guess we have to eat the prawns. It's I say prawns and Americans say shrimp. Oh goodness. I'm sorry, my pets. You were so cute. Oh eat another one. I am sick. Oh, Chat online with friends. Yeah, I should. I should just say, hey, I just ate my pets today. How are how are you doing? Okay, let's use computer. Um, password, reminder, birthday, and address. Oh, hi, handsome. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm horny, smiley face. <laughs> what? Oh, so I can either say, G, uh, you've embarrassed everyone you who believes in your age. To s you can feel the atoms in your body waking up. Um, maybe I should. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I. I'm not really confident about. Uh, I'll just pick H. I just. Never mind. I'm touching myself. Do you want to see? Uh, G, um, you're about to do something horrible or admit you saw your reflection be decap de decapitated with a shovel? Okay, that is really dark, so maybe I'll go with the G option because it sounds less dark. Like, at least you're going to admit you're going to do something horrible, whereas H just sounds completely dark. Like, that you probably need mental health help, but, no, I I'm sorry, I just don't know, maybe, but, I'm thinking how big you are, it's making me wet, S send me your CC info, baby, I want you to watch me, okay, this is clearly not a kid-friendly conversation, this is a very, this is more like an adult chat, so, I should probably you know, leave this insta chat, but oh my goodness, the photo <laughs> I just looked at the photo, look at the faces oh goodness that's what happens when you drink too much alcohol <laughs> okay, let's just 
Since we chat online with a friend... Oh, we gotta clean the microwave. Okay, sure. So... Yeah, it does look like it's due, so... Uh, oh, I gotta open it up. Clean microwave. Oh, I need a paper towel. Don't worry, because I got it right here, and... Scrub, scrub, scrub! Squeakly clean. Can I close the door now? Decide what to do with a man in a ca- I have a man in a cage? But I've looked everywhere. I don't know a place there's a man in a cage. Oh! I think I read something about, like, a secret room. Where is the secret room? Oh! Oh, I found this secret room! Oh, I was dumb. I should have known about the books. Uh, ooh, wait, what? Need sleep, tired, 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 tired. Why is it all doodled in red? Um, okay, let's open this up. It's a interesting little art room of choice, and oh my goodness, I do have a man in the cage. Wait, he's naked? Okay, I think we need serious help because... What? <laughs> this, uh, is this like a some type of dark, romantic, passionate kink or something? This game is very grown up. You know what, I'm gonna let you go free because I've tortured you enough, even though I did not know you were here. Except the character does. What, return to your room and let your body rest. Oh, you want me to go back to bed now? Okay, cool. I mean, it's 3 a.m. I would not wake up at 3 a.m. I honestly would wake up more at like 9 or 7 or 8, roughly that time. So let's go to bed. Let me... Can I... Can I go to sleep? Can I go to sleep? Wait, what? What? I saw a text. What did it do? What did the text do? I don't know what that did, but... Uh, can I... Oh, I... Okay, I got zoom in, but why won't you let me go to bed? You said let my body rest, so can I go to sleep, please? Okay, let's open this door up, and oh, I guess we can finally open it, because it was locked before, and oh. Oh, uh, now I think I might know why it meant by let body to rest. Well, since I have no other choice, well, goodbye world. I'm just going to use the noose. I'm going to put my body to rest in a very dark way, and it's going to be permanent. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, I wish we could do something more about this, but I guess we can't. Yep. We are gone. Well, I am gone. I'm back in the void with more static. Uh... There's more than one. So what does this one say? Nadia 15 self imitation. Okay, that's that's pretty young. What about this one? Vincent 40 throat cut with carving knives. Okay, that's slit throat. Uh, what about this one? It's interesting that it's all different people. Uh SV Lincoln 73 Overdose, probably a medication. Um, what about this one? Barbie, 51, leap from condo balcony. Okay, she just, like, jumped? So, let's read this one. Oh, okay, it's just back to the same person. So there's not... So can I... I'm gonna try and... Can I try and play this person? I am really curious. Hello? Wait, is that it? Or am I replaying the game again? Oh no, it's the end. It's the end of the game. <laughs> Next uh, dark and depressive suicidal style type of game is called Don't Take This Risk. So as I booted this up, yes, this uh, game actually did come along with a warning. So here is the warning right here. This is a fictionalized and dramatized story. It may involve the depiction of an unstable relationship. It will deal with the sensitive subject of suicide and depression. If you know someone you know is in emotional distress or suicidal crisis, call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at the USA 1-800-273-8255. Intense situations and suggestive content for age 13 and up. Some material may be inappropriate for children under 13. And also, as a matter of fact, I have played this game before, but it was so... It was kind of like a while ago now, so I 
vaguely remember that it's mostly like multiple choices like you get multiple endings out of this uh dark and depressive type of game and if you want me and if you want to see where i have found all of the choices uh if i think i have found all the choices i don't know but uh i'll put the original my original playthrough of this game in the links down in the description below so you can go and check that out so i don't so i may have forgotten what really happened uh, with the choices and stuff, but I know that that this is a, like a dark and depressive yet very suicidal type of game. So it's mostly like a text conversation with a complete stranger who wants to commit suicide. And that's basically the plot of this game. So I guess let's pick up our phones and have a conversation with a complete stranger. The voice that came over was fun and charming, cool and alluring. Um, I know it's a dark game, but I like fun and charming. He hello? Hello? This is... This is the suicide hotline, yes? Oh. Um, yeah, we have a limited amount of time to answer. Uh, you have the wrong number. Oh. Oh, I see. Yes, this is clearly a sign that I should not have called. It was my mistake. I will hang up now. Uh, uh, no, hold on, let me get you the right number. There's multiple choices. <laughs> there's, there's no need. What I said earlier, it was a careless joke. Do not think any more about it. Uh, it's not a joke, you were Goodbye serious. Now. Goodbye. Uh, uh... Uh, talk to me. About what? Um, well, anything you want, I guess? There's nothing I want to talk about. I might not talk as, like, I don't want to over-narrate, so I might not be talking much, but honestly, what's bothering you? you? Nothing's bothering you? But I don't believe you. I'm here. You don't even know me, and I've given you no reason to doubt me. Aside from that rather unpleasant joke I made in the beginning. <laughs> you weren't joking, you were very serious. Uh, I wonder though, what is it to you? To me? What is it to you if I live or die? Well, that is a very interesting question. I am a stranger to you. I could be halfway across the world from you. And even if I was not, you would only find something to despise. Something to hate. Someone who is unloved and so undeserving of love. It's only a waste of space, no? Such a person should not live. Uh, well, honestly, everyone deserves happiness and love. <laughs> you wouldn't say that if you knew all that I did. What did you do? What? You hang up? Okay, no, you, you, I'm calling you back right now, mister. Don't you dare die on me. Because, I don't know. Please leave your message. Uh, uh, called... I'll send a text. Um, okay. Keep sending a text. Oh, unknown. You sure are persistent. Yep. I'm eager. You, 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 why are you saying you a lot? Ha ha ha. What a funny word. Actually, wait. LOL is the correct term for that, is it not? Yeah, I guess. But I'm not lolling on the floor. Wait, that does that's not what it means, does it? Ha ha ha. Um, well it means laugh out loud. Right. Okay, well I forgot if I was laughing out loud. Oh <laughs> I've been drinking so I can be forgiven. Oh, you're drunk. So you were drunk when you called. And taking pills. Oh you're overdosing, that's not good. Don't be drunk and overdosing. 
Uh, they're so stone cold. Mm. I'd rather have a warm slice of apple pie. Mm. There's an ice cream place with that name, right? Mm. Stone cold ice cream? Mm. Something doesn't sound right. Mm. Either way, it sounds good, but I don't want something cold. Mm. I want to be warm. Warm? Um, well, where are you? Mm. In the middle of nowhere. What? Mm. Hey, hey, you aren't trying to find out where I am. Mm. So you can send help. Mm. Are you? Well, I mm. mean, I need to send help. That would be smart. Mm. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to remember my address, but it's not coming to mind. Mm. One, two, three, four, five sounds good. Two's my favorite number. Well, mine's my favorite number is like six. Mm. Everyone knows one's lonely. Oh, that's sad and that's cute. And I got the jo number joke because mm. one is a lonely number and two. Oh, he should get together with. Mm. What number do you think he should get together with? Well, one and one is two. Mm. <laughs> or maybe an alphabet would be better. Ooh, what letter? What mm. alphabet letter? A letter. What what is mm. that little thing for? Uh, like a mm. A seems lonely. Oh wait, mm. is A does seem to be lonely? I don't know. Don't you think? Uh, uh, well, describe your surroundings to mm. me. It it does tend to help. Wait, uh, please say mm. something. You're worrying me. Sorry, I blacked out for a moment there. Mm? What were you saying? Mm? G? Mm? What? <laughs> oh, wait, I can just scroll up. Mm? Too many texts. Mm? So much white. Mm? Should change my background before I die. Mm? What should be my last party message? Dude. Honestly, you. Mm? What do you really want to die? Why not? Mm. I'm tired of being alone. Mm. Waking up to no one. Mm. Talking to no one. Well, technically you're talking to me right now. Mm. Seeing no one. This is really mm. sad. I feel pity for him. I guess I'm talking to you now. Mm. But you'll leave me. Mm. Or die like everyone else I know. Wait, did your family die or mm. something? Uh, never mind the nightmares. Domain des Labu? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right because I do not understand mm. French. Domain des Labu G Patirai? I'm really curious to know what this means in English. Because I, this is, it's definitely French. I should, mm. I don't know. Excuse moi. Mm. Can't think of English words because you're French. Oh, yeah, because the accent mm. was of oh, fun and charming was French. Mm. Translation, I hear Goog translate is bad. <laughs> mm. I feel like you're drunk when you extend it, but have you ever seen that one video? Mm. They put words in one language and then another and another and another and another and another. Mm. It's on the loop. Comes out garbled. Mm. Like telephone. Mm. Never played that game before, but... I heard of it. Mm. Let me find you the video. Mm. And a YouTube link. Mm. I just picked that randomly. Really? You sure? Mm. One of the first to show up. Oh, so like in your recommendations? Just jump to the 49 sec mark. Yeah, I'll see that YouTube mm. link after this game, so the song doesn't start until then. Mm. Ha ha. Mm. Discrimination law might not be queen, but from what I hear of election night. Mm. Hope nothing bad happens. Mm. I'm so out of the loop there. 
I have no idea what's going on. Just that everyone's mad. Like, mad isn't crazy or mad isn't angry. I'm not supposed to talk about politics, am I? Um. It's taboo. Taboo. <laughs> or makes bad first impressions. Am I making a bad impression? No. I mean, you're, you make mistakes. I do too. So, whatever. I'm dying anyway. Oh, uh, well, uh, what's outside your window? If you have a window, I don't know. Don't want to get off the floor. Rather can't get off the floor. This will be my grave then. Oh, uh, well, what time is it for you? I can't breathe. Oh no. Help me. Help. Oh uh, well, uh, tell me where you are. What? Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Oh, you just... Okay. And you're just spamming rage. Oh, wow, this is an eyesore. You just... Like, you're dying and you're doing rage. Help me. Can't breathe. Help. Uh, tell me where you are or call him. Well, tell me where you are. Can I text? Hello? Maybe, I don't know. I guess I should call him. Okay, he's, he's, he's really struggling to breathe. Maybe call the police? Could you tell them anything useful like where he was? Did you figure out enough to save him? Well, ending one out of nine, uh, out of nine, out of breath. Uh, don't hurt yourself. Why? It, it is not like you really know me on a personal level. There is no one who cares about me. No one who loves me. I do not matter. Well, old people matter. It's good you think that way. In that case, do not worry. I will not hurt myself. Well, okay, so he says he's not going to hurt himself, but you, like, you're questioning, like, do you, like, should you call back, because maybe he is going to kill himself, or just, just trust on his complete stranger's words, and, oh, just be a bystander, just let him probably commit suicide, don't do anything at all whatsoever. Yeah, that kind of felt pretty short. What if I say, I love you, let's see what happens if I tell a stranger that I love them. Do you really mean that, miss? You... love me? I... want to see you. Please, come see me, mademoiselle. My lovely mademoiselle, what is your name? Who are you? Tell me who you are. Well, I'm... Ah, uh, well, my name is MZ. I'm just gonna put in my name. See? MZ. That's my name. What a beautiful sound. Oh, I thank you. Will you come see me? Ooh, come see you. Uh, sure, I guess. I'll be waiting. Oh, let me give you the directions to my house. Uh, where are you coming from? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, we're actually going to your house. I mean, his house. You really came. Yep, I certainly did. I love the 
eye blinking animation and the mouth moving animation, but he moves to envelope you in his arms and draw you against his chest in a brace. Well, come back, I guess. Okay. He leads you into the room by your hand. As you both settle on the edge of the bed, he doesn't release it. You are so beautiful. He begins to stroke the back of your knuckles with a thumb. The glass to drink? If you're cold, I can warm you up. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't want you to kill yourself, please. He shifts his hand to interlace his warm fingers with yours. As long as you're with me, the thought will be the farthest thing from my mind. That's good to hear. Uh, not too fast, dude. Very well, as you wish, dearie. There's so much I want to do with you. So much I want to know about you. I want to hear everything about you. Uh, well, can we do it when it's the morning? Huh? You are staying? I do not he want to. He tightens his fingers around yours. I I like the heart racing uh, sound effects, but um, I'm I'm honestly not comfortable staying here at, overnight. We can go to a hotel if that's better. Where do you want to stay? I'll go wherever you want. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Just trust please me, please. Go. Okay, we just. I just left, and yet he still committed suicide. <laughs> Maybe he thought I was never gonna come back. Uh, I rather hear more about you. What do you want to know, love? Ooh, well, for starters, what is your name? Because you know my you name, I want to know yours. Me, darling. What? Call me whatever you like. Oh, so like a nickname, like no, what you're calling me, me like darling? Shoot! I mean, don't shoot. <laughs> Why do you love me? Um, I mean, it was just for a random wall choice, but I guess I felt that way. Mm, that's quite dangerous. I could be a killer for all you know. Oh, yeah, that's kind of true. Don't worry. Even if I am, I wouldn't kill you or anyone else you care for. Uh, that's good to hear. <laughs> because I love you. Oh, it's sad, but uh, what a uh, uh, something for me, please. Mm. Wait, what? You settle into bed. He curls his arms around your waist and holds you to him. His chest is warm against your back. What? I just clicked a choice. Oh, I probably took too long. That's why. <laughs> oh, I love you, MC. For the first time in a long while. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Oh, that's good. That's good to hear. I want to spend the whole day with you. I want to make beautiful memories with my bell. My bell? Lights that will sparkle when times grow cold and dark. Light me up, Marjorie. I love you. Only more. I love you. I love you. Oh, Montessor. Your hair's as smooth as silk. Your smile shines brighter than every star in the galaxy. You are the living incarnation of the phrase looks that can kill. Not even the most skilled author could put my feelings for you into words. I could go on and on, but... Your divinity leaves me speechless. Every word I say is merely a grain of sand in a desert of love. I want you to remember something, darling. No matter what you say. No matter what you do. I will still love you. Forever. And always. Then can you do something for me? I'm going to be quick with this option. 
uh, why did it marry me? Oh, gladly. Um, okay. Let me find your ring. And the bouquet. Whatever your heart desires. Okay. <laughs> I just picked this! Let us be married tonight. Oh, okay, so we'll elope, I guess? I do so promise, my dear, to love you and cherish you until death do us part. He seals his words with a kiss. Oh, Risky love. Um, Your smile it's somewhat cute, but in a dark humor way. But anyway, spirituals, um, that concludes today's video, so thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, give your love and support by sharing and liking this video. And also, if you have other videos or other ideas you want me to do for the channel, please let me know down in the comments below because that would be highly appreciated. And if you do have other games that relate to this topic whatsoever, then you can let me know and I'll probably check it out and all this stuff. So, yeah, this is... So I honestly, after playing these two type of games, you can kind of tell about the darkness, the, the depression of, like, um, the act of wanting to commit suicide and everything. So as I said right at the very beginning, if your spirituals ha know someone who is in that state of depression or wanting to commit suicide, please make sure they they seek the help that they need. So... Anyways, goodbye and have a spiritual day, hopefully. <laughs>